Oh, hey there. I guess I'm online. Hi. <clears throat> Happy Saturday morning. Uh, oh, I haven't tested if you can hear me or not. Boy, I'm looking kind of bleary-eyed in that, uh, in this, uh, what do they call it these days? Video. <clears throat> That's because I just woke up recently. Uh, I just got dressed. Flying the flannel today. Uh, I got my cup of coffee, but I haven't had much of it yet. You were on my number one dad cup today. Uh, hi, Jeff. Bye, Jeff. Whoa, these glasses are dirty, too. Can you see how smudged these goddamn things are? How am I supposed to see out of these? By the way, you can see, uh, along with my bleary eyes and my jowls, that uh, I've kind of embraced the, uh, the old man rope around the glasses thing. I was going to do this a few years ago. And uh, I actually did it down at E3 because these are my reading glasses, you know, and I can't see very far. I mean, I can't, I can't read while I've got my contacts on. I wear contacts and I'm very nearsighted. So, you know, to see anything like Twitch chat, for example, or my computer monitor for another, I got to wear uh, reading glasses. But I'm always taking them off, putting them on, taking them off, putting them on, taking them off, putting them on. And so I lose them and break them all the time. But now I've got an expensive pair and I don't want to fuck these up. So I decided to, uh, so I decided to uh, <clears throat> embrace the rope. Now, before I embraced the rope, uh, I felt like, dude, you can't wear a fucking rope glasses thing. That's like what little old ladies at the library do, you know? You're too young for that. But then I had a realization recently. Uh, I'm not too young for that. I'm 55 fucking years old. That's like most kings of England were like long dead by the time they got to my age, you know? And so in the spirit of that, I thought, Jeff, it's 2017. You're, you're 55 years old. Embrace the rope. So I've embraced the rope. And it's so much more convenient. I could, I could put them on. Well, that doesn't work. Clearly, that doesn't work, oh, because th there's an interference here with the Porta Pro. So you got to put things on in the proper order, otherwise you got you got like wires coming out of every orifice of your your fucking body, literally. So let's see, we got to put the Porta Pros on first, then we can put this over my head. Boy, it is so complicated to be old. Then then uh, then we do this. Now we're good. Now we're good. Now we can take these off, put them on, take them off. Oh wait, no, those are gonna stay on. It's these. Take these off, put these on. Yeah, see, now we're all good. Now I can just I can go about my business. <coughs> Hi! Welcome to my live <laughs> stream. This is what happens when I turn it on either before I'm ready to do this or awake. How old are these headphones? These headphones are actually fairly new, and I'm glad you asked, uh, because uh, they're not new in the sense that uh, they're a new kind of headphone that's never been around. In fact, these are the venerable, dare I say, venerable, Koss Porta Pros. Uh, what's special about this particular pair, you can see that they're gold. These are the special edition gold. Uh, it's not exactly solid gold. It's more like solid gold paint. Uh, but nevertheless, <clears throat> all right, I hope I get old and don't give a fuck when I get older, just like you, Jeff. Well, that's the thing, you know, is that at times I have given a fuck. And the, pro the thing about giving a fuck that you're getting older, it, it's twofold. One, there's nothing you can do about it. So there's that. And two, it beats the alternative, Right. I'm still here. That beats not being here, I think, probably. I mean, we won't know until we're done. Maybe when we're all done and we're wherever, we're like, Jesus, thank God, you know, this is way better. 
But in the meantime, you know, uh, there's we've got this. And we've got each other. So that's good. Uh, where am I? Okay, let's play games. <clears throat> I did give a fuck when I got booted from that group in WoW yesterday. That's right. Uh, if you saw my, my Twitter feed yesterday, I got booted from a random group I was in. Not with Egbert, though. No one would dare boot Egbert from a group. Uh, but it was my uh, Pandaren uh, uh, monk. That's not the right. This is the right one. There we go. There's Egbert waiting for us. Uh, <clears throat> so if we switch to here. So here's Egbert. He's all ready to do bad things or good things. Uh, but I could show you uh, uh, if we uh, just bail out of Egbert for a moment. Uh, I'll show you the guy. I, I started uh, mainlining uh, an alt tune that I created uh, just to sort of remind me how to play this game. Uh, maybe I should start over. Hi, my name's Jeff Green. Uh, I'm going to be streaming a little bit of World of Warcraft this morning. This is a game that I played forever when it first came out in 2004. Uh, and uh, Egbert here was my main. This guy. Uh, there are a few other characters lost to some other server. I don't know where they are. But these were some of my main guys I played along the, along the way. There was Deathbird. He was the, uh, dark, uh, the uh, Death Knight version of Egbert. Cardenas, of course, was a recent guy. And I'm not always about the, you know, no, it, was, it was Filbert, though, who was a no mage. He never made a pass level one. I bum wipe. That's actually Boom Whippy. You can see Boom Whippy. Uh, this was my daughter's character for a while. Uh, Vomet was a priest. Uh, but you can see uh, Egbert was the guy I actually took through the whole game. Anyway, so uh, on a different server, the guy I've been, uh, I've been, uh, <coughs> the original Golden Shaman, that's me. So this is the guy I've been playing solo, uh, not on stream, just to remind myself how to play this game. This is Blubbo, the uh, monk, uh, monk Pandaren, and w w I'll go into here for a little while. I wasn't really planning on playing Blubbo, and I probably won't, given that the show is now called The Chronicles of Egbert. Anyway, here's Blubbo. The, uh, the monk. Um, if you haven't seen the monk's dance, I mean the Pandaren dance, it, it's pretty good. Even even when the clipping is not so good. Uh, and uh, Blubbo, I got booted out of a couple, uh, not a couple, I got booted out of a dungeon yesterday. I said a couple because I got booted out another day too that I didn't even talk about. Now, World of Warcraft now has, uh, you know, group finders. This is stuff that didn't exist when I was playing the game. Uh, also, this uh, adventure guide that sort of tells you what you could maybe start doing next if you're if you're not if you're wondering. You got to join group here. Here's all the dungeons that I've unlocked so far with Blubbo, and I can I can just select any of these, find group, and then it's going to place me. Uh, automatically and you can you know specify up here what you're willing to do you know here I had checked I was willing to be the healer and uh, another thing about wow these days is like you have different specs for your uh, for each of your characters which is nice in the old days you had to you had to specialize you had to commit goddamn kids can do whatever you want now but back in the day we had to commit so now I can switch between you know healer tank uh, so, you know, when I when I was in the, the rando dungeon, I would selected healer and I switched to, to my healer spec. I guess I'm still on it. And uh, and I was healing. I was doing my job. I was healing. No one was dead. No one, no one the party didn't wipe. Yet, uh, I still got kicked out of my group. And it hurt my feelings. Uh... Group Finder when Cataclysm launch was toxic. Yeah, I, I can believe it. You know, like, here's the nice thing is this. The nice thing is you don't have to wait for, like, your guild or your friends to join or whatever. You can just go, fuck it, I'm going to do a dungeon right now. I'm doing it. And then you just hit that, and then you just hook up with whoever, you know, just like you might do on Tinder. 
but I guess the results are probably as uh, unsatisfying as, as, as many Tinder dates because, you know, as soon as anything goes, like, remotely sideways, or even if it doesn't, even if they just feel like, you know, I don't like this guy. This guy seems like he probably has bad breath, whatever. You can just get kicked out, and you don't even know why you're being kicked out. You're just out. You just find yourself outside of the dungeon, and you're like, oh, I guess they didn't like me. So, you know, so that sort of sucks. So it's the good with the bad. You can do any dungeon you want at any time. You don't have to wait for a big organization. You don't have to wait for your fucking friends who are always unreliable. You know, you can just uh, group up with other people, but then you got to deal with the randomness of other people. How much does it cost to uh, get back into WoW? I don't know. I just re-up my subscription. Yeah, by the way, uh, if you haven't been in WoW in years like me, you'll discover that certain zones, like uh, this one, like wetlands... Oh, fuck! I got off the boat! I want to... No, wait! Hold the boat! No, hold, hold the boat! Hold the door! Hold the boat! Hold, hold the boat! Okay. Well, there's another one coming. Anyway, uh, Wetlands is uh, flooded. There was a big flood here, I guess, at some point in one of the expansions. So, like, Menethil Harbor here is just kind of a joke. I see the shit. It's all flooded over here. You know? These poor people. So that's kind of cool. They changed some of the zones so that they're just like totally different than they were. Hold the door! I really did want to take that boat, but they do come, uh, you know, every they, they they come every few minutes, so it's not the end of the world. Anyway, I'm not even playing Blubbo. I just wanted the, the interesting thing about Blubbo, and the re only reason I thought about possibly playing him and having this be the Chronicles of Blubbo. Uh, are that it's taking me through these old areas. Uh, and so it's sort of fun to see, again, from a lower level uh, character, what these old uh, levels look like. But on the other hand, Egbert. You know, Egbert's my guy. Look, there's another boat. Wait, or is that, where's that boat? I guess, there, are there two boats? I guess there are. So I don't even know where all these boats go. Maybe they go to the same place they did back in the day. Maybe they don't. Let's not miss this boat. Oh, by the way, check this out. Here's something I didn't have back in the day. Oh, I guess I can't. We'll, here, we'll, we'll get him going. Uh, have I done the Diablo anniversary stuff? No. And I need to. And I'm going to. I love Diablo. That might be something to stream, too. Eh? I got too much to stream. So here, I got Baby Winston now. Where is he? Hey, Baby Winston. What up? How come I can't, uh, can I not do it on a boat? I can do it on a boat. I can do it with a goat. That's the version of, uh, of Green Eggs and Ham that you don't often tell you teach your kids. Uh, anyway. <coughs> Here we are. Am I gonna watch the Nintendo Switch event? Shit, is that today? When is that? Am I competing with the Nintendo Switch event? Because we gotta sign this shit off, if so. Tell me when it is. Uh, here we go. We're off on a boat. I'm on a boat. Seems like a good idea for a song. But maybe we can we can dance along the way. This is pretty much, uh, oh, next week. Okay, good. Next Friday. Okay, the 12th. Oh, I did do the Diablo Tavern Brawl. That was a, that was a, a blast. That kind of motion captured my dancing here, I think. Especially this move. So we're going the, I guess we're going the Calendor. Nice. So that's like it used to be. We are going to switch to Blubbo, I promise. I mean, to uh, to uh, uh, Egbert. This is not the Chronicles of Blubbo. This is the Chronicles of uh, Egbert. Uh, so this still works. This was the same boat, uh, Menethil Harbor, to uh, Kalimdor here, was how it was back in the day. Theramore Isle. I don't know if Theramore Isle has changed. I actually haven't been to Kalimdor at all with Blubbo. So I have no idea what's going on uh, on this side of the world. But let's get out of here for now. We'll go to uh, we'll go to uh, Edward. <coughs> Though I could also have a Chronicles of Blubbo, you know. But I'm all about Edward, so let's switch to Edward. 
But yeah, so much nostalgia. That's why I'm liking playing this uh, this uh, older character. I mean, this newer character because of the old areas. If you do have interest in seeing that stuff, well, let me know because I don't actually care which character. I'm playing. But the good thing about uh, Egbert is, uh, you know, it's the new stuff from the new expansion. So this is all stuff I really haven't ever seen. Uh, the only problem with it is that I don't remember really what's going on. Which isn't really new for me and uh, <coughs> games on stream, as, as some of you know. But, uh, but it's new for me and WoW to not really get what's happening. I just know I'm somewhere where bad things are happening and I have to kill them. Also new. Exactly where to go, what you gotta do there. You know, you just don't have to work for shit anymore. It just is handed to you. They might as well, you might as well not even play. Just like, you logged in here, you leveled up. Congratulations. Now go about your business. Uh. <clears throat> Lee, have I. No, I didn't finish Dark Souls 3. That list of things that I've been streaming and then not finishing is growing. I haven't finished, of course, Final Fantasy XV yet, uh, uh, or Dark Souls 3, uh, and I haven't given up on Dark Souls. I know I keep saying that, but it's really true, I haven't. We're gonna go back to Dark Souls, it's going to happen. I guarantee it. Oh, look at that! We could probably glom onto this, uh, and get credit for this. I think. Right there, Xandris the Disarmer is supposed to be killing him. So, hey, I'm so let's just, let's just, let's You've just... already lost! Okay. Oh, he's dead. Right. So I did get credit. Let's see what. I don't remember why we had to kill him. So let's go talk to Theon Moonclaw. Hello, sir. What up? Egbert here. <coughs> Want to group up? Sent you a message. Are we on the same uh, server? Darkness All right, surrounds then. us. Sanders has finally paid for his crimes, but his blood will not bring back the innocence he has slain. All right. Now we gotta kill uh, Cag Cagraxis, the con the corrupter. All right, he's a demon. We gotta kill this fucking demon. Go with speed. Sure, we can go. Find me when Kagraxis has been slain. Okay, I'll do I that. I sense an even darker presence here. There's Egbert. This is the guy I played him uh, from day one of World of Warcraft launch. A normal, uh, no Morlock. Uh, oh, it's Cross Realm anyway. Did not know that, Burner. Uh, yeah, we can group up. Um. Let me uh, see what else is going on. I don't. I don't even know where I am. I mean, in the game. I'm, not, I'm pretty sure I'm in Berkeley, California, right now. Uh, look, guys. So I got a bunch of quests around here. Oh, we're on the Broken Isles, which I think is the new area that was opened up uh, in this expansion. Is that correct? Shows how much I know. I hope you have not fighting you Broken Isles. Right. Oh, here's something else I didn't. I don't know or understand is uh, right before I logged on, I, I was looking at this quest here. Check this shit out, bring in the bass. This, you know, this sounds like something I totally want to do as a former bass player. The uh, the quest is in Draenor. And I don't, I don't even remember having quests in Draenor or how I even get there. So that's kind of interesting. Falindra in invites me to a group. Is that you? Oh, that's is that you, Burner? If not, this is going to be embarrassing. Not embarrassing, it's awkward. I hope that's you. Where are you? Good day, sir. Uh, oh, that is you. Good day, ma'am. I'm only saying that because. Melindra sounds a little female. It's not. If you're not female, uh, if you're not role-playing female, uh, you 
guess so, yes. Now where are you in the world? How do I find you? You're there. You're right by me. You're you're maybe you're on your way. The quest is for the garrison, Andre. Oh, okay. I think I have a I have a uh, a uh, pretty sure I have a Hearthstone to uh, to my garrison, right? I do. Returns you to your garrison. Uh, here's something else interesting about uh, WoW and me and my relationship to it now is I don't even know what a garrison is. I know I have one. Uh, I don't know what it does for me. Oh, there's Xandris again. We killed him. But we gotta go into the, uh, the Moonclaw Cavern for some reason. Get behind here. But we'll wait for a uh, burner to join. What do you do with this fucking him? Uh, so, yeah, so, uh, so Edward has, uh, multiple specs. This is something I've been trying to wrap my head on. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, I guess I could play any of these, uh, specs, uh, for, uh, Warlock. Which, like I said, back in the day, you had to commit to a certain path. Now you can basically switch on the fly. There's certain things you can only do with the rest of your but you still, in, in general, you can switch between uh, specs, uh, basically, whatever you want, uh, which, of course, then will, will switch your uh, your spell concentration here. You don't lose all of them. You know, some of them are obviously cross-spec, but uh, others are, are, are specifically for that spec. So right now, I'm, I'm in Affliction, which is mostly how I played back in the day. Oh, there's Philandra. Hello, there's our Burner Man. Uh, we're now together. Landra is a, uh, a level 101, uh, what the hell? You're killing, killing everything. I'm just standing here doing jack all. Pretty much why I got kicked out of prison. Actually, what may happen here is murder may put me out of prison. So I don't know if we're, uh, are we sharing quests? Have, have you done all these already? You're a paladin. Have you already done these quests? that I'm, I'm trying to do now. Um, also, your game is loud on stream. Okay. My bad. Oh, look at that master volume. There you go. You did, so you did up until the quest for the dungeon. Okay. And I don't think I have that quest yet. But I think I gotta. Uh, you can do that when you reach that point, too. Okay. Alright. So, uh. Alright. So let's let's do. Let's see. So we gotta. We gotta, uh. Go into that cave. I don't think it's through here, is it? Is it on the other side of the sky? This is just our. These druids were weak. I hope you have more fight in you than they did. Ah, shut up. Where is that? No, this is not through here. Maybe I should have Philandra join. I mean, uh, lead. Oh, look at this. I left him as he's being attacked by Sandris. Uh. Alright, so what do we have to do here? We have to enter Moonclaw Tavern. That's our first task. That's what we're going to do. Enter Moonclaw Tavern. Uh. I'm still, you can see I'm still clicking the hotkeys. I'm not, I'm not keybinding yet. We're just gonna, okay, we're gonna follow Philandra here. Oh, great, I have a pally here, so I don't really have to do shit. I can do my usual, like, four, uh, defense. I let him do all the work. I don't know why I wonder why I get kicked out of groups. <laughs> okay. Is this the tavern over here? Philandra? Where's Philandra? How do I lose you? Where are you? There he is. Oh, okay. Alright, I gotcha. I'm with you. Oh, we're riding? Okay. 
Alright, okay, I see. It's up there. I don't know, what is the general storyline here? I guess there's some uh, demons and bad shit we gotta kill, right? That's, uh, okay, well, that was an easy quest to solve. We just, we just get into the cavern, and, and we, just, we solve the quest. This is kind of a cool area, though. Vile Knuckle. Uh, it's up, or where's the marker? It's up. We're in more danger than you suspect. Alright, so here we are killing shit. This guy is part of our uh, quest. And he's just he's done bad things. So he needs to die. I have things to do my bidding. Uh, also, the game is still super loud. Really? Okay. Alright, let's uh, let's uh, deal with uh, Ethel Night Whisper here. Like that's her real name. You surely would have perished here. You're welcome. Uh, there's no other way from there. Okay, so we not have danger yet. Xavius has returned! Alright, we've killed Cagraxis. The Nightmare Lord is here in Valshara, personally orchestrating the corruption of this land. So now we got a fucking Nightmare Lord. Great. He might want to work on a different name. That's not really good PR to call yourself the Nightmare Lord, unless you're actually trying to go for evil sounding. Alright, we have to go inform Theon Moonclaw. All these people with these with these uh, names. I don't believe these are actually the real names. Alright, let me turn down the uh, game audio a little more. Happy Saturday, by the way. Thank you for joining me. Oh, Master Volume is still at 100 because I probably hit cancel. Oh, it's the old God story. Whoops, we got Cagraxis back. I guess we can kill him again. Here's one thing I've noticed about, uh, about, um, new WoW. WoW 20, uh, 2017 is that you don't have to wait very long ever for, uh, creatures to respawn. Um, which is an old MMO thing going way back. Remember uh, camp checks in EverQuest? If you're a, an old person like me, uh, you would get on and you would have to like check in basically in like world chat to find out how many people were like waiting in one particular area for some fucking monster to respawn. And people would get in like kissing wars, like I was here first. Kind of thing. Remember camp checks? Uh, so I don't know how long we're going to be playing WoW uh, in general on this stream. I don't mean just today. Uh, I don't know how much I'm going to commit to really getting back into this game or not. It's possible I might commit heavily. I don't know. Uh, but uh, uh, it'll depend a little bit on on how you folks feel. Oh, by the way, I'm, I'm like way, still way into uh, Overwatch. Uh, so, um, I, I might have an opportunity to stream again tomorrow. I think I might be, uh, I'm, there might be a, uh, some kind of social event that I'm, I'm going to be able to weasel out of, uh, here in Berkeley. And if that happens, then I'll probably want to play Overwatch during that time. Overwatch is not, like, a good morning game for me, because I'm not, I'm not awake yet. I can't, you know, it's hard enough to do this, let alone, uh, multiplayer, you know? If I don't get Philandra killed like eight eight times, you know, in the course of this live stream, it's gonna be a miracle. Because uh you know it's early here. It's only it's only eleven eighteen AM. I mean what an odd uh, ungodly time to be playing on Saturday. It's also uh super like rainy and gross here. I don't know how it is in your part of the universe. But here in this part of the universe it's uh it's kinda of shitty. All right, so, uh, you know, this part about uh, Matt Roy still plays regularly. Wow. Um, I can see why. The game is still, uh, the game is still what it is. It's still, it's been here this whole time, and it's still wow, and it's still fun. Uh, 
What did I need to do? Oh, right. Good question, Philandra. I need to, uh, we need to release Evel. 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 And we're nearby. So, uh, let, let's go do that. Uh, where is Evel? Is she back in the, in the, in the cave that we left? I think she is. But I'm going to see. What does it say here? What does the quest text say? Uh, oh, no. We have to inform Theon Moonclaw of the return of Xavius. That's what we have to do. So we got to go get to, uh, we got to go get to Theon Moonclaw. No, no. So not the cage. We just have to go to Theon. Wherever Theon is. Which isn't the same as Theon. I've got Philandra basically Sherpaing me through this, uh, through this no idea where he is. Okay. Well, I've got the, uh, the arrow is on my map. I don't have um, target. So, uh, we can just go that way. Since he's got the fucking demons on us, well, I could banish him. Look at that, he's banished, Philandra. You're, hit, you're hitting nothing. I haven't, I haven't used Banish in uh, about uh, six years, so forgive me, I just wanted to remi remind myself how Banish works. It's been, this is, brings back memories. Yeah, I'll follow you and you follow the arrow. That sounds good. Alright. Oh, so we're still in combat. Just gonna get on my flying machine. How long is he Banished for? Okay. Alright. This is this was one of the things I was most proud of back in the day. Was getting my flying machine. Oh, do I not have the ability to fly right now? Maybe I don't. I guess I can't fly. Either I don't have the ability anymore, or I have to re-earn it. I don't know. Do I have to re-earn it? Or maybe I just can't fly in this Can't fly yet. Gotcha. Okay. All right, so I can't tell if uh, if what's his face is back in. Uh, yeah, maybe. Looks like he's maybe back in here. Is that possible? This was the cave, but is this where uh, is this where what's his face is? I'm just skipping past all this, uh, Philandra. Is he still? Is he in the cavern? Kind of looks that way. I can't tell if the rut. Oh, I left him there to die. Sorry. For that. Okay. I think it seems like the road is through the cavern, isn't it? Is the road through here? Seems that way. Seems like that's the same to do. Uh... Like, is it over here? Maybe it's not. Please tell me you are not a clicker. Well, I'm only a clicker. Uh, I'm only a clicker right now, sir. Uh, while I'm while I'm remembering how to play, I promise I'll I'll, I'll go. I can do it if I want to. Okay, here I can, I can do it if if you want to see me not click. Here, here's me not. Click. Okay. So I can do it. I can not click if that makes you happier. I don't think this is the right way to go, Philandra. It seems like uh, 
it seems like our our contact uh, is uh, is outside of this cave. But uh, let's see. We pulled some Kokak racks and we've killed them already. Jeff, why aren't you playing as Vomet? Well, Vomet was not my main. Yeah, I'm sure it is. I don't know where he is. Uh, it doesn't seem to be. Uh, don't have to overwhelm you, motherfucker. Uh, it doesn't seem to be anywhere in this cave. It seems. What's my most anticipated hidden gem? That's a good question. Of course, if it's hidden, I don't really know yet, maybe. Uh, oh, you know, you guys were telling me to play uh, Let It Die, right? I downloaded that, and I started playing uh, I started uh, playing the, t the tutorial stuff, and uh, yeah, super fun. You guys are right. I'm going to have to stream that, uh, because that, that's clearly going to be a very uh, fun game to stream. Um, and then the other one I downloaded yesterday was Duelist, and I played through the tutorial there, and so that's another good, another good stream of the game, I think. Uh, Duelist seems like something I could really get into. I'm hoping it actually is good, you know, beyond the, be, past the initial novelty of it, of it not being Hearthstone and, uh, uh, having some pretty, uh, cool, uh, board game-like mechanics. I hope it's actually good beyond that. Okay, I think we're heading in the right direction, Alandra. Did I get, ever get to listen to a uh, to Alice isn't dead? No. Uh, okay, he should be right around here. On my map, this is where he is. This is where uh, Theon Moonclaw is supposed to be. Right where we're standing. Unless something... <clears throat> unless there's some kind of phase shit going on that I haven't taken care of. <clears throat> well, we can do another quest. I was the best of the lot among all the gift of... Oh, you're so nice. There's a cage to stand, just right click on it. Oh, where's the cage? Huh? So confused. Problem is I don't have a grip on this whole... All right, that NPC is in the cage. We were just there. Oh, it was in the cage. So we have to go back to the cage. All right, we're going back to the cage. All right. Okay. Here we go. All right. We're done fucking around, me and Philandra. Here's where we here's where from now on this is just this is just uh power power gaming. Well, in, uh, in the meantime, we're so we have bonus objectives now. That's something new. That's also something new. A lot of new stuff in WoW. New to me, I should say. New to someone who hasn't played in years and years. Oh yeah, look at that! There's the cage we need to click on. Will be bathed in darkness. Yeah, go fuck yourself there, uh, Kagraxis. Alright. Oh, we were right there. God. Oh, we were supposed to release her first. We must find Theon before it is too late. Yes, we must buy Theon. We must find Theon. That's what I was saying. And she disappeared. Guys, I can be happy till I stop clicking. All right.
Yeah. So I don't really know what's going on at this point in in WoW's uh, in the uh, in the history. I don't. I, I I have to read up on my own chronicles to find out what the fuck's even going on. I mean, we're killing stuff like every other fucking game, so it's that. But I don't know why we're doing it. Oh no! Wait, no, I know why we're doing it. We're doing it for the XP. That's why we're doing it. Okay, where to now? Now, sir. Uh, enter the Archdruid's Den, part of the Nightmare Lord. Uh, okay, so we re we released Evel, and now we have to enter the Archdruid's Den. That was the next step of this quest. I don't know if that means we have to go back to the... No, it says it's this way. The Archdruid's Den should be this way. Okay, so somewhere over here is the Archduid's, uh, Archduid's Den. Hopefully he's got some decent Wi-Fi. This is looking like the Archduid's Den to me. This is looking pretty good. Oh, it's a Den of Claws! We did it! We've entered the Den of Claws! Alright. Good times. You put up quite a fight. But your archdruid belongs to me now. Yeah, fuck yourself. You're just an image. <laughs> ah, shit, Ed. Look at this! Wow. Oh. I don't know what any of that means, but okay, we got it. What's the point of my, uh... Oh, there we go. There he is. Oh, we gotta kill him now. That's sad. I should probably stream more, uh, more, uh, Hearthstone, too. Because you can't ever get enough of that. This curse has made me stronger than the ancients! Ah, shut up. I'm gonna bring on my Doomguard. For the hell of it. Get in there, Doomguard. Water resources are for sending your champions on missions in your castle. Against the Nightmare Lord. Neato. I don't hate you. I, if I didn't respond to your question, it just means I missed it. Or I got distracted. Alright, okay, we, he's dead. Another, another demon killed. Let's go to the question mark. All these map markers. There's a Vel, or is that Evel? Here's my reward. Cuffs of unrelenting anguish. That sounds good. I think I'm going to get more benefit out of that. Yeah, I think so. Alright. Look at that. I got an achievement. Well, I got part of an achievement. For doing part of the Valshara storyline. Okay. Everyone's a winner. Yeah, I got an award just for participating. Okay, so what's next, uh, Philandra? We've got, uh, we've got to slay Morphael. The Entangled Dreams. We have to slay the Witch Mother. We've got a lot of slaying to do, apparently. And then there's a, uh, <coughs> Fairy Fracas coming up. Which I don't know what to make of that. I don't know what the Fairy Fracas is. I'm a little bit afraid to ask, uh, so I won't. So let let's head towards uh, let's head towards uh, where we got to slay uh, Morphail and Magula. All 
Uh, Cops of Unrelenting Anguish is my old wrestling name. Go ahead, you'll fall. Okay. Wait, where are we going? We're going to... We're going this way. Okay. I don't know which lucky person we should kill first. Or lucky demon. I guess I should say. We, we, we're heading towards the fairy fracas. I don't know if we're invited to the fairy fracas. Let's stay away from the fairy fracas. Fracas? Fracas. It's one of those words you only see written. You know, you don't ever really, uh, you don't ever really say fracas. So when you see it, uh, and then you have to say it, like if you're live streaming, say, you don't actually know exactly what to say. So, I'm saying fracas. But it could be fracas. It could be fracas. It could be fracas. You know, it could have like a, a bit of a Yiddish uh, sound to it. Fracas. Yeah, that's actually a, a Yiddish word. It's fracas. This whole goddamn game is fracas. We could, we could say that, but I don't think that's what's going on there. Okay, I think we're near where we gotta kill this guy. Somewhere up here, there's somebody to kill. We're right, we're right on it. Uh, somewhere. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's like up in a tree. Where's Philandra? Somewhere nearby. Oh, there he is. Whee! Alright. Hi. Down here, probably. Oh, there's a cave. Uh, tricky. Oh, yeah, sure. Magula. We gotta kill the big Magula. Magula Gorilla. I'm going. I'm going with key bindings. Just so you see what I'm giving a shit. I like to see those click buttons. That's a nice one. Spell lock. I don't remember that spell. Alright, Magula Gorilla is dead. <laughs> Alright, now we gotta go kill uh, Morphail. And Morphail is, uh, is south of here, way down in a Smolderhide Thicket, so called. We could go turn in this quest first, I suppose. Should be right up here. You still have the bonus objective here. No, I do not have it here. Uh, it has it has gone away. Kind of like that idea though of bonus objectives. Hold on. All right. Sorry there, Philandra. I think it's up here somewhere that we want to turn this in. Yeah, something's attacking us. Right, this is pretty. It's nice and green out here. You can tell the global warming hasn't really affected this area yet. Not that global warming is a real thing, as we all know. Media created hoax. Uh, okay, I mean, you know, it's cold and rainy here today. What more proof do we need that there's no global warming? Okay, I guess that's who we want to talk to. Hello, giant tree. Make peace again if you are sacred grove. Totally, dude. That's pretty nice. Witch Mother Drape. Or Swift Feather Band. Uh I'm going I'm going with the band. I mean with the Witch Mother Drape. I'm going with the Drape. 
Nice. My arch druid of lore. Uh, so that that's that's Valshara, folks. That's nice. That's, okay. What's the deal with the airline food? Okay. So now, uh, now Philandra, let's go kill. Uh, let's go kill uh, Morphael. There's other quests available, but Morphael is uh, the, is the, is our immediate, my immediate uh, quest. I guess we can just follow the road here rather than get ourselves in trouble. We should be hitting a, uh, a fork soon. This would be said fork. Right, okay, so one way is gonna take us to the fairy fracas. You don't want to go that way, so we're gonna head. We're gonna head this way. All right, we're staying right out of the fairy fracas. Fracas. Not today, sir. No fairy fracas for us. This is really a lovely area. I could see moving here, couldn't you? Don't you think you could live here? I could totally live here. We just need a bookstore, maybe a used record store, uh, a coffee shop or two. Okay, now this is probably the bad part of town. The, actually, the rent's probably cheaper here, though, to be honest. Okay. Uh, okay. There we go. We're, we're near. We're near where we want to be. Chieftain Graw. Uh, no, we don't want to kill you. But maybe we have to kill you to get to where we're going. Uh, hold on there. Let's check the map again. Uh, Morphael is uh, where are you? Deep within the barrow. Probably in a cave somewhere. Yeah, or a barrow. Ah, oh, yeah. Here we go. That's a barrow. This is it. Yep. We don't have to kill you, sir. Or ma'am, I suppose. There's all these other people lined up to do the same thing. Kind of takes away from your feeling of, you know, heroic empowerment when you've got, like, 12 people all waiting to kill the same person. Alright, we're gonna kill you. I don't know why. I was just told to. I'm just following orders, Morphael. You know? You might be a good guy, for all I know, but I was told to do it. Uh, and I'm nothing if not a sheep. I had a big tree guy telling me to kill you, so... Sorry. I might want to study up on the uh, philosophy of the uh, and the uh, political uh, leanings of the people that we're supporting here, because it's entirely possible that killing Morphale here is like killing Bernie Sanders. You know, like this could actually be a good guy for all I know. I'm just blindly killing this motherfucker uh, because I was told to. Who does that sound like? You know, I was just following orders. This poser. Can you ask me something? Can you ask? Uh, can I ask you for something, please, man? Ecto Gaming. Yes, you can ask me for something, and I, I'm sorry if I've ignored you, and or anyone else so far. I'm too busy uh, yabbering this morning. Yes, Ecto Gaming. You can ask me something. I'm. You have my attention now. So ask away. Uh, all right, we're gonna turn this quest in and right up here somewhere. That's convenient. Can't even play WoW without going into existential crisis. Don't you know me by now? That's how I live. I live in a perpetual state of existential crisis. Okay, okay, Ecto, Ecto, er, Exo Tech Gamer. Us. Ask me now. All right, we got we're back into blues. What if we are the bad guys, Jeff? Fuck! Look at that. That's how I want to go. 
the Night Vale Road. We could be the bad guys. Jeff, am I a liberal? Alright, we shall return to the Grove of Scenarius. Speak to Malfurion. We know him. Storm Rage at the Grove of Scenarius in Valshara. You know that. We know Malfurion. He's a classic. at the Grove of Scenarius. We must act swiftly. Yeah. Dude. Uh, okay. Um... I don't like to label myself with things like liberal or whatever. There are certain things I I am I am very uh, liberal on, and other things I'm extremely liberal on. I live in Berkeley. What kind of question is that? Uh, X X Exotech Gaming. Uh, I gave you the floor, and you didn't take it. I, I, I'm trying to pay attention to you. Okay, we got to go up here, Philandra. Sorry. We're heading back to Malfurion. This is a very nice area of town, though. Really, I could, I really could see moving here. You know, the the uh, property values in, in this part of the Bay are okay. Exotech. Well, I can't pay for Legion, so can you do it? Can you do it for me, please? We can play together and make it, uh, make it up for you in game. Wait. You're asking me if I'll pay for you to play Legion? That's what you're asking? Or are you asking that I, I don't play Legion and I play some other thing you're playing? Wait, where's Malfurion now? Down here? Oh, that's not good. Oh, yeah, okay. So nice. well, this is probably was not the easiest way to get to... Uh, to get to, uh... Oops. That's not it. Sounds like a good deal, Jeff. <laughs> uh, okay. Where are we, where are we going? Well, there's Scenarius. There he is. He wants you to buy... Uh, thanks for your attention, sir, really. Uh, virtual paint, let's see. He wants you to buy him a Legion. Well... I, I'd love to be able to buy you Legion... You know. How may I aid you? Hi, Malfurion. May nature guide the Emblem Queen. Well, Exotech, that's it's a little. Here's the problem. Well, hold on. Let me deal with Malfurion, please. Egbert, you have returned. Good. I have counseled with the other Dutch druids and concluded that Cenarius's condition is merely a symptom of a much greater problem. Your experiences in Moonclaw Vale make that clear. We need help. There is one who can bring understanding of these events. With Theon gone, we must ask that you aid us in reaching out to the Lady of Dreams. Alright, when we're ready to speak to Malfurion, then we're going to go uh, re seek out the Lady of Dreams. Are we ready to aid him? So, here's the deal, Exotech. I, I sympathize with the fact that you can't afford this game. I do. Uh, Nature stands with you. Oh shit, cutscene. But, uh, I, I can't, I don't know if I can really buy other people games. That might set a bad precedent. I mean, no offense, but if I buy you a game, you know, then, then it's gonna get out. Go to, go to Greenspeak's channel, he's like buying people video games. It's not that I, I, I don't want to be a generous fellow. Lady Yasara. Thank you for answering our call. We face a dire threat. You don't have to time that out. Um, no need to explain. I mean, Malfurion. hold on. I have seen what is coming. We need to pay attention. Let's back up the here. The Emerald Dream is being overtaken by the Nightmare. The Legion and the Seder Xavius are to Oh, the Emerald Dream is being overtaken by the Nightmare. That's fucked up, man. 
Where's the Ysera where we need her? The world tree has fallen to the nightmare's corrupt. Ah, oh, fuck! And spreads its curse Are you kidding me? The world tree has fallen. That's bullshit. The nightmare lord must be. Vanquished. You're goddamn right. The nightmare the lord must be vanquished. Holy shit! Just when I was talking about moving here. Is that it? Oh, that is you, Sarah. Holy shit! That's you, Sarah. I love you. You are such a great legendary. That's you, Sarah. Holy fuck! I crafted you. You have won me many games. I got I got I I got a bow to you Sarah. I'll be more popular if I if I buy you a game. That's probably true. I would be more popular if this channel got to be known as the channel where uh where I buy you free games. Behold, yes Anna, the Emerald Queen. Do I want a nightmare fetish? Goddamn right I do. That sounds awesome. Two item. Okay, we're going for the nightmare fetish. I'm not gonna like this place's story. Uh oh. So X Exo Tech, I'm not. I don't mean to be a dick. I I don't want to be a dick. It, it's a little awkward. I mean, it's you're fine. That you're right to ask. Anybody can ask, but I, I don't think I can really do that. Also, you know, I you know, I'm not rolling in dough over here. You know, I'm I'm just a schlub in Berkeley. You know, and if I, if you know the misses here, I'm like buying other people video games. I don't know. I could be out on the street. Okay, let's pay attention to you, Sarah. Cenarius is in danger. If his condition is not reversed soon, he will be lost to the nightmare that threatens the Emerald Dream. To spare him that fate, we must have the Tears of Elun, the same relic you were sent here to retrieve. Elun's temple is not far. Go there, find Lianus. Show her my seal. I assume that's like a seal, like a, you know, uh, uh, a mark, not like an actual, like, sea animal. Uh, and instruct her to release the Tears into your custody. Hurry, Egbert, time is short! All right, we have to go to the Temple of Elun, uh, Philandra. And uh, we have to say goodbye to you, Sarah. Uh, and uh, uh, you, Sarah, I want to thank you for all those extra cards uh, at the end of my turn. I can't tell you how much I've appreciated that in many, many different games. So I hope to see you again later. Uh, also, by the way, you're a little better looking on your Hearthstone card. I hate to say it. They've done you a favor. You might want to look into some dental work. Okay. Uh, so, Exotech... Uh, oh, wait. Hold on. Did I not accept the quest? I have seen I, your Yeah, dreams. that would probably help. Okay. All right. So, we're going up to Temple of Elun up north. And then... Yeah, right. Okay, so we're heading north to the temple. Are you with me, Philandra? Yeah, we need to get to the temple. Hey, Exotech... Uh, you know... Uh, really, I don't, I, you know, I'm trying to be nice without, without being a dick. It would be great if I could do that for you. Uh, I, I can't, though. Um, but, you know, happy gaming. Uh, I, 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 I hope you do get a chance to play Legion. I really do. Uh, and if you find a way to play, I'd be happy to play with you. I just can't. I'm not in a position to buy other people games. All right. So we're going to the Temple of Alone. Here we are at the Temple of Alone. Uh, now we got to go talk to uh, who's it? Who's it? We're talking to. Uh, oh, look at that! We just discovered a we discovered a new flight path. Uh, Lianus Moonfall. That's who we got to talk to. Okay. I'm just following Philandra. Let's just ignore the shit that's happening over there for now. Uh, 
Okay, here we go. Help has arrived at last. That's right. That's right. We're here. Philandra and Egbert are here, so quit your quit your whimpering. We're here to save the day. Uh Exotech, no problem. All the best to you. No hard feelings. If I ever get to a point where I can buy pe other people video games, people I don't really know, uh, who I'm sure are nice people, if I ever get to that station in life, uh, you'll be the first person I'll buy a free game for since you asked. Okay, anyway, uh, Temple of Berlin, here we go. Tears for Fears. The Tears of Balloon are a sacred artifact protected by my order for thousands of years. I tell you this so that you may understand the gravity of your request. I'm probably not doing the... Uh, no, yeah, see, she's female, so that's really not a good voice for this. That said, Ysera is noble and wise, and I trust in her guidance. You will find the Tears in a vault at the eastern edge of the Temple Grounds. <laughs> Proceed with caution, though, as that area has been overrun by demons. <laughs> oh, great. Now Philandra wants a free car. See what you started there, Exotech? All right, we're going to get the Tears of the Loom. CLC wants cheese board pizza. Sure. You're in Alabama? I didn't know that. I don't know why I would know that. That's cool. It's one of them states I actually haven't visited yet. All right, root cause. So now we've got this guy wants something. I guess he saw we were doing something for Lianus. So this guy's glomming on to our good uh, good favor here. There's always another guy right around the area where there's a quest giver. You know, you got like one quest, and then there's always just somebody who's like, oh, by the way, you know, fucking, you know, get your own get your own adventurer hero guy to do your bidding. I was already helping her, but okay. Alright, the roots are spreading a horrible corruption. If we are to save a child, we're going to need to find a way to stop the encroachment of the world tree. We bring enough corrupted root samples. Okay, so we got to bring uh, corrupted root tree samples uh, for this clown to be able to help. I guess that's a good cause. Okay, sure. Fine. Did I ever eat Texas barbecue? Uh, hell yes, I've eaten Texas barbecue, and oh my god, do I love it. I didn't even understand that like brisket could be a good meat until I ate Texas barbecue. Because, you know, uh, brisket, frankly, is one of those uh, meats that uh, that uh, we Hebrews will eat, uh, you know, at things like uh, Passover or whatever. And traditionally, we overcook brisket uh, until it, it's basically like inedible. So when I had Texas barbecue for the first time, it was a revelation. It's like, wow, so this is what happens when you don't overcook it and you put, like, yummy barbecue sauce on it. All right. What are we trying to do? Uh, we got two things. We got, a root, oh, the root causes, the tears of a loon, and then there's another quest coming up, too. Uh, there's a, a, a... Okay. What are we trying to do here? Uh, all right. We got to get the root samples. We got to, uh, and we got to find the Tears of a Loon. Yeah, right. So I got to gather some shit from around here. I got to get the corrupted, uh... Pray to your pathetic goddess. Let her listen to your cries. Eh, why don't you fuck off? Maybe you'd like to meet my Doom Guard, bitch. I do need to get this Enjoy this moment, It shall be your last! I should clear out my... Would you have any advice with someone with a, without a journalism degree but who have, has We're written well-received articles for various fan sites here who would like to get further into games? Champion. I don't That's a question that I've answered uh, many different times over the course of my career. And of course it's changed as... Uh, the nature of journalism and gaming journalism has changed. Um, but I do think that uh, one thing that probably hasn't changed is uh,
basically, uh, okay, hold on. I'll get back to your question. That's a, that's a, uh, that's, that's, that's a, that's a long question with a long answer. Uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna frustrate, uh, don't aggro the big guy. Let me just, I'm, I'm in the middle of like, it's a good question. The short answer is, the, the journalism degree is, is less important. Okay, that's gotta be a corrupted word. Is less important than you having like uh, your own style, your own point of view, your own interesting take on things uh, that people can't get uh, from anyone else other than you. That's going to get you further than a degree. At least in my in my uh, as it used to be. Uh, what's going on there? What's happening there? What is that? What's on my screen? I, I don't know what's happening. What I do. Come to me. Tears of Okay. Alright, Philander. I I'm on my way. Tremble beneath the light of the burning legion. I gotta I, I could be in trouble. Because I've aggroed the guy in the middle. Have I aggroed the guy in the middle? No. Zane, it's a it's a really great question. I, I do think that uh, again the journalism degree is probably less important. I know that uh, when I was uh, running a magazine, I would not have cared about that nearly as much as uh, someone who actually knew what they were saying, had a good point of view. Uh, you know, because if you're not interesting. Uh, then that degree isn't gonna, isn't, isn't gonna count for shit. Yeah. Okay, Philandra. What did I do there to my screen? I was a little green enjoying her job. She's loving her job. Holy. Oh. Uh, yeah, please. A, uh, she's a very lucky person. First job out of uh, college uh, to be enjoying it so much. She really lucked out. Well, I wouldn't. She didn't luck out. She worked hard for it. Okay, this is a cool area. All right. <laughs> Foolish mortal, the tears of a loon are mine now. If Malfurion wants them back so badly, he can seek me out. I'll be waiting. What an asshole. That guy's a real prick. Arrow of light. Oh, I see what I did. I see. I mean, I didn't do that. Okay, that's it? That's that for that? We need to. I gotta get more. Uh, I gotta get more uh, roots, and then we. There's a village in peril nearby, so we might as well pick that quest up. But uh, Philandra, I gotta. I gotta get a few more roots here. Almost. Egbert can just quite reach. All right, two more. Two more roots. This should do it. We're almost done. All right, that's all done. We've done that, uh, but we do have a city in peril right nearby. In fact, a village in peril. Uh, so let's let's go let's go get the village in peril. It's uh, it's down here somewhere. Do you have all the plants? In? I do now. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's get on. So you're saying having a distinct voice is better than trying to sound like a boilerplate professional. Indeed, I am saying that. Yes, that is what I'm saying. Um, and I, I, I think that, you know, because, I mean, especially in something like video game journalism, you know? But I, it probably counts for any... Hold on. Uh, wait, I'm sorry, Philandra. I guess we could turn in the quest up here. But then the city, uh, the village in peril is also right nearby. 
Er, er. That's not the right way. Ugh. Where are you? I'm so confused. What did I do? What happened? Oh. <laughs> narrow thing there. Missed. Alright, All right, there's your goddamn tree root samples. Fucking freeloader. It is as I feared, Doom. This corruption is irreversible. Our only course of action is to somehow find a f way to fight it at its source. Okay. And he's still yammering. Alright. Uh, let's see. Radiant Charm of a Loom. It's a nice neck bracelet. That will probably look kind of fetching on me. Takes my intellect way down, though. Which, uh, if you know me, that's probably not a good thing. Uh, let's see. Currently equipped... No, that's no good. I guess I gotta take this. I don't necessarily have to wear it, though, because I don't know if I want the loss of intellect. But I am getting quite a boost in uh, everything else. So maybe it balances out. Alright, now we gotta go back to... Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, work on being different than the rest. Exactly. Do I still have a blog yet? Do, do I still have a, Okay, we have to go back to speak to uh, Ysera. Always a pleasure to speak to Ysera. Uh, but uh, let's also pick up that other quest, uh, Philandra. Also, uh, Philandra, thank you for uh, taking the time to uh, wander around uh, World of Warcraft with me. Uh, okay. Right, so that quest is... Uh, Village in Peril is like right here. It's like right here somewhere. There it is. Holy shit. I guess it is in peril because our quest giver is like laying on the frickin' ground here. Yeah, I should probably equip the stuff I got. Okay. The corpse of Darcy Heathrow lies before you, pierced by several arrows and knife wounds. In one hand, she clutches a note written with a feeble hand that reads, The Death March. On Braden's book. Help us, please. Well, that's a bummer. Alright, let me uh, see what I got in terms of new stuff to equip. This is so sad. This was all my old purple stuff that's just like, it's like no good anymore. You know? Uh, okay. Enjoy this moment, mortals. Add on. Add on. Add on. Nightmare fetish, sure. I don't even have a weapon equipped. Check that shit out. Nightmare robe. Uh, no art. Okay. Belt. Medallion. Neck, whatever I want there. Yeah, okay, these are all better. Yeah, all better. Uh, okay. Okay, alright. Kinda weird I don't have a weapon equipped. You know? That can't be good. I'm just saying. Uh, so should we go speak to the, the well, we got to speak to uh, to Ysera, but we've also got this village in peril. We go get uh, an add-on for the item level. Oh, you have any good uh, suggestions for that? Yeah, you know, I lost every single mod uh, I ever had for this game. So I don't even know if there's, you know, what the good mods are now for WoW. You have the Village in Peril, too. Okay, cool. Uh, Calandra, I don't know if I was heading the right way to it. Oh, item level? Okay. How do you not have a weapon? I should have my artifact. Yeah, I should have my artifact, shouldn't I? The thing is, the problem with that is I don't really understand what the artifact is supposed to be. Artifact power to your currently equipped artifact. So where is my... Where's my fucking artifact? Craft it. Uh, staff. 
Look at that. Is that it? Well, that's something. That's a weapon, anyway. That's not my artifact. Hold on. Hold on. Bear with me. That's a better cowl. Sure. Uh, artifact is like a second talent tree. Really? There's so much I don't understand anymore. It's like the talent tree's from Bracken Vanilla. Oh, okay. Huh. That's not my artifact. Oh, I know what I equipped was not my artifact. It should have that kind of color. Okay. So where do I actually find it? Oh, it's the floating skull! Oh, the floating skull! Oh, Mort! My floating skull! Yeah, where is my floating skull? Right! There he is. I can't use that. All right. Requi oh, it requires demonology. It's because I changed. It's because I changed specs. That's why. Yep, I need to swap specs. Exactly. There we go. There he is. Woo! There's my artifact. Okay. Nice. Okay. All right. Here we go. All good. Okay. So now we can go to that uh, village, which I think is... It looks like it's down here. We're going to have to cross some water. We also can go speak to Ysera. What? Shift right click on it to see the town tree. Oh, on the artifact itself? Oh, shit. I see. Oh, wow. I must visit the Artifact Forge in your class hall to purchase traits. Okay. I don't understand what any of that means. So, use the Artifact Power Rewards you got along the way, which I did. I do have some in here, because I noticed that. Right-click this rock to open your equipped artifact. Place it in the matching socket. In the matching socket. In the matching socket. This is like an intelligence test. Oh, I see. So, uh, Emerald Bloom. I just did. Right click to. Oh, 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 okay, okay. So no, no, okay, no, I don't get it. I don't get it. Gonna have to uh, fire artifact shard artifact relic slot. So there's relic slots. Oh, the top there. These are the slots. I see. So I can do that. Oh, look at that. Look at the big brain on green. Okay. Okay. So a fire relic I could put there. Okay. I see. I see. I see. Wow. Nice. Okay, I get it. I think that's all I got. That's all I got. That's all I got. Okay. Okay, all right. And I turned enemy nameplates on off. Okay. All right. Let's let's go. Let's play some. Uh, let's play some. Wild. There are relics and there is power. 
The luck's level up the item level. The artifact, the power gives you talents. I gotcha. Okay, I hear you. Yeah, let's do the village quest. Okay. And then uh, we're gonna... We may quit after that. Uh, they've added a lot to this game, and they changed a lot. This whole this whole relic thing, is this uh, new to this expansion? Or has this been around? Because I honestly don't know. Was it, Is this part of the new... The new deal, or was this here uh, previously? Yeah, here we're going, getting into the shittier part of town. Rents are a lot cheaper out here. We're still close to the city, though. So, you know, we could... They're new. So we could, uh, we could actually, you know, get a place here. We're still close to the action, but we could probably, you know, have cheaper, cheaper rent. We just have to commute a little further. Farther. I am not your enemy, Mayor. Well, I didn't. I uh... came here to find someone within Blackrook Hold. Stop with your lies, Night Elf. You'll yeah, stay with them. Keep an eye on you. What brings you guy. here? We don't need any help, but we don't like strangers wandering around on our land. Okay, well, see you later, there, asshole. <laughs> Push you back. Children of the Night is waiting. Okay, maybe after Honor I select this. Yeah, courage. now I'm gonna have it. The village is coming to attack by some very old friends of mine, friends who are no longer living. <laughs> and the trust of these villagers, check them the Black Rook enemies who are terrorizing their citizens. Alright, we gotta kill a bunch of dudes. Sir, okay. despite what they say, these people okay. need help. Defend their farms and we will ease their suspicions. Emmeline. Oh, yeah. Oh, here's another tagger on. See what I'm telling you? You get one quest from somebody, and then they're like, oh, this guy's helping? Let me ask for something, too. Fucking freeloaders. I got a bad feeling. I say... Oh, uh, so we're looking for a missing daughter. We're looking for Penelope. Oh, and the situations and all these things. Ah, uh, fine. Okay, fine. We'll help the townspeople. Keep God your chin up, it. eh? Okay, fine. We are heroes. I guess we'll help look for the missing girl and do the other things. Fine. I won't be resentful about it. We'll do it. We'll help you. Whatever. Alright. This should be easy. I still have this thing in the middle of my life. Strange. I don't know what the story is there. Oh, it's for, it's for shooting at a bat, I guess. Uh, so now the thing is, I don't know what all these spells are here at the bottom, because I've been playing as Affliction. So it's demonic empowerment, uh, shadow bolt, I don't know what that is. Seriously, I don't even know what all these spells are. I really, like, if I didn't know how to play uh, Affliction, I really don't know what I'm doing now. So, uh, so this is going to be interesting. Right, are we supposed to go up there? Is, that, is this one of the missing people? No, it's not. Ah, right, right, we check the cornfields. There we go, Granny. Two additional quests. More freeloaders. All right, let's oh, help lady, Granny up here. Chipper looking one. All right, she wants us to kill some birds. Everybody wants you something. Everybody wants a piece of us. That'll days alone enough for me to take And we gotta collect some corn. Really? We're like That's fighting nice demons, blow. Granny. Now we gotta pick your fucking corn for you. Grief. Stay on your toes. Everybody wants something. We'll hire some migrant workers. Gnaw them to the bone. Uh, 
fall before your masters. Look at that. I like that dark glare I'm summoning. That's something like out of Doom or something. Alright, let's pick up her fucking corn. Barrel of corn. Like, we don't have better things to do. Why doesn't she pick the corn? It's right there. Like, two feet away from her. Okay, sure, she's a granny. Still. stuff anymore. Alright, corn. Seriously. No. Sorry, yeah, I found a mountain. I am picking up corn though. I can bring my imp. Look at that! I leveled up! Ah, it's my old imp. Thank you! I, I leveled. What's the level cap now? Is it 110? Nice. Okay, that's completed. If it's completed for you too, Philandra. Alright, we got one more fucking barrel of corn to pick up. 110. 110 is the is the that's the cap. Okay. Kill kill. Alright, let's give Granny your corn. Yeah, I got all the corn. Oi! Where'd you come from? Yeah, yeah. Goodbye. Thank you for the 15 gold. Alright, what do we still owe her? Less gapping, more stabbing. Oh, the marks. Yeah, we're gonna mark the Falcons. I think he started doing that, huh? And then what else do we have to do? We gotta, uh, right, Black Rook Falcons marked. Alright. The other thing that uh, they I don't think this was this expansion, but uh, WoW added this ability to just use the special items that you need for any particular quest right from the uh, right from the, <laughs> the quest log itself, uh, which is kind of amazing. And I'll target. Marked our was marked. Lander, I'm sorry, I'm. Uh, Distracted, where are you? You're right by me. Okay, are they all marked? I think they're all marked for Granny now. Yeah, they are. Okay. Yeah, I leveled up. Nice. Where'd you come from? Remember when how big a deal it was to level up? Oh, look at that adventure guide. Random battleground. Nah. Follow Philandra. And I'm not talking about just wow. Like in any of the old MMOs, uh, leveling up was such a huge deal once you were in the higher levels. I mean, it would, it would be like. Especially if it was like a critical level, like. Spend like all day sometimes. Weeks or a week leveling up. Just trying to get up one level. Want to do a dungeon to close it out? Ah, uh, we could do that, Philandra. What would we want to do? Would we want to queue up together? You don't know how much time I have. Well, not a lot. If we could do like us. Ooh. Uh, Alright, new quest. 
I don't know if there's any uh, any uh, shortish dungeons that we could do. Otherwise, we'll save it for the next WoW stream. Like... Nice. We've got this. Only problem is uh, doing a uh, doing a random dungeon. Is uh, ooh, stop. Is uh, clearly I barely know how to play my character anymore. Uh, so going into a dungeon. Though I guess since I'm just DPS guy, just DPS guy, uh, I can just sort of hover in the background and pretend to be useful. Know what I'm saying? Yes! Right. It was so amazing to, to level up back in the day. I mean, Blubbo, I'm level 40 with that alt character in, uh... Okay, that sounds good, Flandre. Uh, I'm level 40, and I just barely started playing Blubbo, you know? So the, the thrill of leveling up is not what it once was. It seemed like such a major accomplishment back in the day. Level 40 would have been like weeks of work. Normal dungeons are not that hard. Okay. Hail, soldier. Alright, yep. Ishnu Allah. Alright. How are I'm I'm good, Mr. Shy Smile. How are you? Um Good to see you, as always. Uh-oh. Did I lose you, Philandra? Shit, where are you? Alright, I'm, I'm heading your way. Okay, you're back in Braden. Okay, on my way, sir. I was just turning in that quest. Heading your way. Alright, sorry, bud. Uh, yeah, you know, it... it Check the fishing dock. All right. What's your story? Find Rotbeak. What's your back? All right, we're following Philandra here. There's Rotbeak. Kind of well named. See you later, Rotbeak. Yeah, I'm back on the drug of WoW. It's sad. I don't know how long it's going to keep up. Hopefully not too long. Though I have to admit, I am having a good time playing it again. There's something very comforting about uh, returning to a game that you loved so much and it's not what can really I do that hard you? to play and that I like the universe a lot. I used to actually be really into it. Uh, it sounds like comfort food playing WoW. And if there's ever a time when we need a comfort food, it's like kind of like now. Uh, uh, yeah. Go for that one. Right. We are oh, bound Philander's by a common off and about. Let's go catch up. Hey there. So yeah, I'll, I'll probably uh, keep playing WoW and keep streaming WoW, uh, but. Uh, 
as I've said, I have not forgotten about my other streaming uh, stuff. Um, I keep saying I'm on the verge of uh, going back to Dark Souls 3, which I am. So, uh, Papa, Papa, I'm home. Let me get a good Mr. Egbert saved me. Penelope. Yes, I did. Thank goodness you're all right. I was so worried. This is a this is hard one. Well, Shadow Song, I was wrong about you. Everyone, that's down right. Your arms. Idiot. Thank you for finding my daughter. Please, you are most welcome here. Tread lightly. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's do they it. Protect those we love. All right, random Legion dungeon. We're cued. We're cued in the dungeon finder. Safe travels. This is it. It's like a mix of comfort food and heroin. That's an excellent way of phrasing it. Just hit all the buttons. We'll be fine. Right. He's right. All right, so we're queued now for a random dungeon. We could go back to Ysera while we're waiting, or I need to anyway, to uh, turn in that quest uh, and thank her uh, like once again for all those extra cards. 42-minute wait time. Fuck, really? That ain't gonna cut it. Oh well. That sucks. Hey, Philander, did it? Did that just show you looking at a map? Was that you, like, actually opening your map? In real life, and then it showed your character looking at a map? Open, open your map again. Did it just do that? Because I don't remember the game doing that before, if that's what you did. Holy shit, look at that. That's pretty cool. Wow. I like that. It's a little thing. But that's pretty neat. It's the little things. You should keep your minions summoned. How are you liking demonology? I'm liking demonology uh, well so far, but, but to be completely honest with you, uh... I, I have not yet figured out the, the right way to deal with the new specs and how all the new specs work. Uh, I, I'm, I'm really uh, actually better right now at playing my newer character, Blubbo, because I started fresh with that character from level 1, uh, who's incredibly level 40 already. Uh, but because of that, I, uh, and I'd never played Monk before either, so, but because I started at level one with a new character and a new class, I have a better grip on it than a character I've invested hundreds and hundreds of hours in, uh, but because everything that I knew from back in the day kind of isn't true anymore, or it doesn't work the same way anymore. So it's more like I have to unlearn so much to be able to, oh, the bonus objective is back. Uh, I have to unlearn the way I played Egbert for uh, literally years in order to be any good at it uh, now. You need to lead me. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to Ysera at the moment um, to turn in the, that one quest. Okay. I hear you. We're down here. Uh, there's probably a way that's not going to to go that's not going to cause a gazillion uh, damage points. There we go. I started a new character at level one uh, how many days ago? Not that many is the crazy thing. And, and I really haven't been playing it. I haven't been like obsessively playing it. It's just like you do anything and you level up now. Uh, I got crazy high, uh, fast leveling done. What do you see? Oh shit. Are we gonna wake up Malfurion here? No! I have wasted too much time here. No more! Well, cranky. Cenarius' loss has left Malfurion unable to see reason. Make haste to the World Tree. He may be headed there, all too ready to take reckless risks. Meanwhile, you and I will follow his trail from here. 
Malfurion must not fall. Okay. So what? What do you want now, Ysera? I have seen your dreams. Courage, young man. Hope is never lost. Well, do we want to, uh, do we want to, uh, find Malfurion? Uh, while we're waiting? Together we shall prevail. I don't know, hopefully this isn't fucking up our, uh, our group, or... Look at this, I'm riding on Ysera. This is fantastic. Rage has blinded Malfurion. He and Xavius have a long history of conflict. Even he cannot hope to defeat Xavius alone. We must find him at once. I am doing well. Thank you. And thank you for uh, watching uh, or listening to GFW back in the day. And uh, thank you for uh, watching. Uh, oh, I'm not in your face. You're heading over there. Okay. Can you head over here too? Are we in the same, uh, do you have this quest? I should have talked to you. I should have discussed before just heading off. All right, we've got to find a corrupted druid. Yeah, we get to kill 50 creatures along the way. Fan-fucking-tastic. I must take to the sky. Embrace the power I have given you. So now. Oh, you did this zone. Oh, okay. Oh, so we're like in different phases? Except I can see you. Everything done except the dungeon. So we're not in different phases though, right? What the hell kind of, uh... What the hell am I wearing? <laughs> you can see me. Okay, that's good. Right, okay, I vanished just because you Sarah from the meter, right? So I don't want you to, uh... You to have to keep doing uh, quests you've already done. Philandra. But I've got 50 plants to kill up here. I guess we could just kill the plants while we're waiting. I don't know if we're ever going to get in this uh, dungeon. I'll Xavius probably have to quit. Is the master in fact, of I should probably put it. Now, to enter... Is to I will to the spread nightmare. the nightmare to every mountain and valley. Hey, where are you? I, I, you're not here, Philandra. Nothing can withstand the might of Savius. Oh, now I'm in another phase. Oh, shit. Okay, well, that sucks. So, wait, I gotta kill all these things first, and then and then I phase phase back? I live to serve, Savius. I live to serve your mama. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. My oh, power boy. will destroy this. Okay, so that's how I'm gonna kill fifty. I see. I got gotcha. you. Thank you for telling me. That would have taken a long time otherwise. I noticed that with uh, Blubbo. There's a quest I was doing for Blubbo. I'm forgetting what zone where it gave me this special ability in the middle. Nothing layer can we that allowed stand me to kill the might of eight Zavius. gazillion skeletons at once. Uh, it's interesting that uh, that the game is doing this now. These kind of mass uh, things. Also interesting that I had a giant button in the middle of my screen there that I didn't even notice.
I live to serve Savius. So I don't know what that says about me, but I had that giant thing there in the middle that I wasn't paying attention to. And I can't really blame my newness with this, with this expansion because, like I said, I did do this with Blubbo. I was in uh, Western Plaguelands. Can withstand was the killing might eight of gazillion Savius. skeletons at once. Calls down Ysera's wrath. All right, so this is Ysera above. I think we're calling down her. Uh, I think that's actually Rise. her. Grow. Take this forest. Nice. Thank you, Ysera. You're still the best. You're one of my favorite legendaries. My power will destroy this pathetic land. Are we having fun today? I'm having fun playing this game. Uh, I I'm have mixed. I wouldn't say I have mixed feelings. I'm yet uh, undecided on every um, mountain and valley. on this expansion. Not in terms of. Uh, I don't feel qualified, actually, at this point yet, because I've been away from WoW so long to judge the success of this or not. I'm st I still feel like a tourist to this game after being a uh, primary citizen for many years. Sadius. So I feel like I got a lot to learn first before I'm going to pass judgment. Um, but I am having fun uh, re-exploring this universe. Uh, it's cool to see. It's still thriving. There's still a lot of people playing. Uh, and they're still trying new things. Uh, are these things I want to keep doing in, for the long run? Maybe. Rise, grow, take this forest. Darkgrove has fled into a nearby cavern. Hunt him down and end this. Okay. Okay, yes, Sarah. I hear you. We're heading down into here. I don't know if this is, uh, Philandro, we may still be in the separate, uh, to every phases. Mountain we probably and are. Valley. My apologies. It is really, uh, it is really rough to jump back in. Um, it's crazy because, uh, this is a game that, uh, now we gotta kill this guy. Alright. Uh, at, at its height, uh, at the height of my addiction, you know, uh, to this game years ago, I was all in for everything. Raids, I mean, I was doing everything. So I was, you know, maybe not awesome at it, but I certainly knew my shit. I knew how to do do all of the most complicated things at that time in this game, and now I feel like uh, like I barely know what I'm doing anymore. Uh, and again, especially coming coming back to the game after literally years away and playing a high level character, uh, a level 101 character now, without the without the knowledge really of how to play a high level character anymore because so much changed. It's almost like back in the day when, you know, people would buy um, new character or would buy characters that other people had leveled up and you would, just, you would know who those people were because they didn't know what the fuck they were doing. Um, and that's how I feel now with Edward. Like, yeah, he's high level, but I don't know how to play him yet. Whereas with Blubbo, on the other server, he's a level 40 monk, but I've been with him in this new incarnation of WoW from the beginning. And so I get it better. Where whereas this is just like more work. Um, it's not a complaint uh, at all, and it certainly says nothing about wow. It's more about uh, the difficulty of coming back to a game uh, after so many years when so much has changed. Um, you know, it's it's really just uh, I've never actually experienced this before. Hey. We in the same phase again now? I can see Philandra. Wait, 
Do I have to keep going? I was thinking I have to get out of here. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's uh, it's just a weird it's a weird phenomenon to try to to try to play this again. Um, shit. I guess maybe it was back down there. Right. Yeah, what Sour Nova just said. Yeah. Um, it's almost like harder to play Eggbert than it is uh, Blubbo. Because... In fact, you know, I had the option uh, of... Uh, No, I guess I do have to get out of here. This is a dead end. So. Um, I had the option of auto leveling Egbert to 100. I think he was like level 90 or 80. I forget when I decided to re up my subscription to WoW recently. And um, you've been playing this Paladin for six years. This is Philandra, aka Burnerman. Switch another character now, you're playing this one again, and it's so different. They changed a shit ton. Yes, they did. Uh, and it's... Um, so I sort of regret that I did the auto level up to uh, 100 to to just be, oh, there's Philander, to be ready for this. You know, I feel like if I had manually leveled from 80 to 100, even if it was going to be a little painfully dull, and it would have taken me longer to get to the end stuff. Uh, the 80 to 100 stuff would have still been new to me, and so maybe I should have just uh, played through it. Because um, now, now playing that game is uh, hard. Not impossible. I mean, it's not like this has ever been a complicated game, really. But, um, especially when we're talking about dungeons, though, and my need to uh, play well in terms of helping other people. I, I do not feel confident about that right now. The real game is a max level anyway, so it doesn't really matter in terms of acquiring skills. That's true. However, you know, the real game at max level is something I got to start, you know, preparing for. And right now, uh, you learn most of the stuff in Dungeons and Raids now. Okay, that's fair. That was kind of always true in a way, though, right? Nice. Every dream. So, Philander, I don't know if we're going to get to... Uh... ...to a dungeon today. Um, yeah. Going from 100 to 110 helps a lot. I'm sure it will. Yeah, I'm sure as I keep as I keep uh, doing the stuff and leveling with Egbert, I'll I'll get it back. I'll get the hang of it again. Um, but it's a weird feeling, very weird feeling to play someone that you know. I had a lot of affinity for this character. You know, you put you play one dude for literally hundreds of hours. You have a pretty good grip on it in your head. What to do? And to sort of have this character where I'm just like, where I'm feeling like a tourist with my own character feels weird. Because um, all the times that I experimented with alts just to try it when they would introduce new stuff or whatever, you know, I would always say, well, okay, at least I know that I'm, I'm awesome at Egbert. And now I'm not. It's too bad that they didn't have uh, this uh, live streaming technology back in the days of original EverQuest, huh? Those would be some amazing live streams to see. Uh, to see just how shit worked back then. I mean, I'm sure there's probably streamers who stream uh, stream whatever incarnation EverQuest is in now. Ah, the mother of dreams has arrived. 
arrived at last. Epic. Oh. Oh shit! Big time cutscene. Don't mess with you, Sarah. Uh -huh. Oh shit. Oh come on! What? Holy shit! Everything they touch. Hey, Mila. Wait, what the fuck? What happened to Yasera? Cool. Wait, she's not dead, is she? Okay. Oh, there's baby Winston. What are we waiting for? I'm, I'm truly, uh... Is this the end? Ysera was corrupted. Shit! So is she like a bad guy now? Ysera! I was just saying how much I loved having you back. Baby Winston kind of destroys the, uh, you know, the suspension of disbelief here now. Now that we have an Overwatch uh, scientist monkey following us around. Kind of takes you a little bit out of the World of Warcraft universe, but uh, what are you going to do? It's Baby Winston. Holy shit, they fucked with Ysera. Damn. Alright, we got to kill more harpies. And then, anyway, right, we got to help her out. Winston is an immersion breaker. I know! That's what I'm saying. It is an immersion breaker. I'm not I'm not disagreeing with you. I could get my baby blizzard out. I could get my balloon out. How about my fetish shaman? There you go. This thing's kinda gross. Right, and we follow Flamer. Okay. Hey, Mila. We've got them cornered. Where do I have to go now? Good question. Uh, guard Turan Tur uh, during her vigil. So I got, we got to guard her during her vigil. Wasting time. Oh, okay. I had to. I had to. Right. I had to activate that. Okay. We're guarding her. That's what we're doing. my meditation. I must see through the chaos. Okay. You see through the chaos. We got you back. Red mist. 
Marfuri. He is in pain. Keep fighting, my love. Yeah, keep fighting, my love. Xavius, you cruel creature! I am coming for you! Yeah! She's coming for you, bitch! Oh shit! Our dungeon's ready, dude! We gotta do it! I guess we gotta do it! Alright! Gotta accept! His location is still unclear, but he lives. All right. Uh, well, we'll be back to help you out later, Tyrion. Wherever he is, peril is already upon him. Yeah, sorry. We'll get back to you. No, I accepted. I did. We're in. Here we go. Baby got back. Is the leader of our group. And woo! And we are in the Dark Heart Thicket. This is a dungeon I have never done before. Uh, this is gonna be grim. This could this could really go badly. I'm gonna stick by Philandra and just not cause trouble. Hit me, JP. Wait, we're not playing with hit me, JP, are we? What is happening here? You miss eight bits. I'm so I'm so confused. Not JP. But you used to watch eight bits. Former It Me JP mod. Cool. I miss 8 bits too. Moonslayer is a former It Me JP mod. Wow. That's that's pretty awesome. I miss 8 bits too. And and Mr. Shy Smile says too that he misses eight bits. How weird! That is kind of when streams collide. It's kind of a weird coinky dink, isn't it? All right, so I don't have to heal anybody. Thank God. Uh, where's? Do not know this dungeon whatsoever. Never been here. We are, we are both monster JP, so that's why I know move from. Awesome. I used to be on 8 bits. So we're like one. Those who challenge me only eight. speed themselves to an agonizing death. So ah, shut says the shadow of Xavius. Yeah. Be still, worm. Oh, so this is a new dungeon? Is this a new dungeon? Is this why I don't know it? No, I didn't used to heal, but I heal I have to heal with Blubbo my uh, monk and I think that's why I got booted out of my dungeon yesterday because I wasn't healing fast enough apparently I think I think that's what was happening this is a new one cool all right so I can't suck too badly in this uh, at this dungeon compared to everybody else 
because uh, we're all learning it. Unless everybody here in this group has gone to the Great big DPS. I get to sort of sit back, sort of half pay attention. Okay. This is the Valshara dungeon. Right. So this is the one new dungeon for this uh, zone. the deal. Storm. Are we having fun? I, you know, this is this is for me to stream this. It's it's a little intense. Uh, uh, if you've noticed, I, I I think I'm 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 blabbering a little less than normal, uh, which may be a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know. But I'm actually trying to learn how to play my character. So, uh, so I'm sort of. You don't want to be the schmuck, especially in the dungeon. It doesn't really fuck their name. It's usually obvious. Like when I'm targeting, when I'm trying to you know, fight things and I have a heart. You having fun, Dad? Yeah, I mean, you're. you're I, I'm Dad. You're having fun. I'm glad you are. Uh, you know, as usual, like I don't, I don't know if we're gonna continue with WoW or go back to Dark Souls or whatever. Um, I like that fell story. I can smell the nightmare in your blood. Be gone from these woods, or suffer nature's wrath. No, that's not the nightmare wrath. in my blood you're, spell you're smelling. That's something entirely different. You want to say that's what it is, and Defilers. go ahead. So it is you who have befouled these woods with the nightmare. I said so powerful. I will bleed the nightmare from you! I guess it doesn't do any good for me to pull the spells out. My doom demon there. This guy. Yeah, back on the crack. It's true. I was trying to remember how to play. Or not, it's really not trying to remember how to play. It's actually just learning. I will not be defeated. Learning new ways to play. Really what it is. That's more accurate. Be purified in the light of the stars. The nightmare clouds my thoughts. No more. A fluke. Savor it and pray you do not face me next. 
they will be more than prepared. For your true power rests in the nightmare. Still going. Yeah, we're gonna quit. Uh, we're gonna make it through this dungeon. Then we're gonna quit. Uh. I don't wanna bail out. Obviously, in the middle of a dungeon. Not a cool thing to do. Uh, so me and uh, Burner, or Philandra, aka Philandra, will play until uh, we're either done with this dungeon or kicked out of this dungeon. <laughs> Wasn't actually expecting to do a dungeon on stream today. It's a nice little bonus, and I'm getting to see one of the new dungeons. But so far, you know, looks like a WoW dungeon. Oh, there's... See, minion, you gotta get over there. Yeah. I know. I'm, I know I'm speaking, I, I'm probably speaking prematurely, but so far this dungeon hasn't exactly been much of a challenge. Dealing with, I've got level 106, well, mostly everyone is max level, or, or higher level than me, at least, anyway. All right, I guess we're skipping these guys. Got uh, three more baddies to I don't have kill. Them. So crazy that this game is still going strong these days. Should this have been long gone by now? I've got a bunch of little things doing my bidding now. I don't think this dark glare lasts for very long, though. Yeah, and there he's gone. Alright. Loot the chest, Jeff. What chest? That chest. Thank you. Oh, shit. Thank you! I'm sorry for the all caps. Sorry for missing the battle here. I remember spending like three hours on Nomer back in the day. God. Remember when that dungeon seemed hard too? I love those original WoW dungeons. I wonder if anything in this game, uh, you guys who are, are playing it now, who have been playing it, like, are there are there aspects of this game that still feel challenging and difficult the way it did back in the day? Like, do you still get that sense? You know what I mean? Of like, fuck. Nomer, holy shit. I remember really suffering through that dungeon. Those big huge leaps he had to make.
Yeah, it was hard. Mythic and Mythic Raids can be insane, that's cool. I, I'd like that to be the case, that, you know, that, that some aspects of the game might still be, might still be dangerous, or still might, you know, uh, make you, like, a little bit afraid. Like, th this game in those days could actually make you feel that way, when you had, like, a lot of time invested, and, uh, you know, and you were like seriously trying to get like a piece of loot you've been trying to get for weeks and it was there was a lot of stress back in the day and and but the up the upside of that was that uh the reward the feeling of victory was so much uh, greater so it would be nice to know bite. that uh that still that feeling still existed in this game that you still got the you know epic sense of reward and achievement uh, and I believe it, if, if it, that is the case, if you guys are telling me that's the case, that's awesome. I am rooted. You will be my well, I don't think so. The joy of exploration, too. Exactly. Right. Like, you really, uh, I mean, I'm getting that a little, you know, in, these, in some of these new areas, but there, there definitely is a, a, a more Wild West sense. And, and, and that's keeping in mind, too, that, like, WoW was the, was the MMO that, that eliminated a lot of Wild West stuff. It's time um, we get to the know, root yet still, the because it was of that era, it, you know, it was, it was harder than, I think, it probably is now. I mean, just all the little extra hints they give you, and the interface stuff, and I'm not saying it's worse for that at all. Um, no, nowadays there's a, simply a much, much wider range of difficulties. Yeah. Uh-huh. Right. My will grow back. And things were inaccessible. I mean, I think that maybe is some of the difference, though, if I'm wrong, you can tell me. It's just like I things... Yay! You, you know, to actually get to do certain things, like, you really had to, like, wait it out. You know, you had to, like, to get you your, your mound to, to like, fucking forever. And, you know, to get other things, like to get the epic no mount. Well, it's just like multi, you know, it's this quest line that just like took for, forever. Even of my power was enough to overwhelm you. Oops, where are all my, uh... Okay, they're all the way over there. A lot of strategy involved. Yep. Well, certainly back in the day, that was, you know, that was so much of the stress of, of doing dungeons, right? It was like, you had to know it. You had to know your role, know your feet. Um, I'm sure that's the case with the current, some of these current dungeons, too. Get in there, Charl Blast. No, I'm not moving. I need to touch first! <laughs> I remember what the first time walking in Ironforge had been completely blown away and felt like that in a video game before. Yeah, you know what? That's really true, and I actually got that. Uh, I I remember that from the uh, beta. That was the first time that I had walked into Ironforge. Actually, I'm not saying this. It's not a brag or a humble brag, but I'm pretty sure I saw it when I visited Blizzard to do the uh, cover story on on WoW back in the day, and uh, I remember, you know, trying to write about it, like the epic sense of what it was like to enter a building like uh, like Ironforge back in the day. Um, there really hadn't been anything like that, that kind of scale 
and not only that kind of scale, but the extra bonus, of course, was that you were we were in the Warcraft universe. So if you were fans of the strategy games, like I was, it was seeing you know the realization of this uh, of that universe uh, come to life. I need a target. I don't have a target. Here's one of our uh, dungeon goals. I also remember uh, the first time riding on a griffin, and I don't mean the griffins that you control, but even just that, even the this that you were going from zone to zone in the game on, on this creature and getting to see all these areas that you were going to play later in the game. Uh, I had experienced that in the Get him. Go get him, Char Blast. So, yeah, lots of great memories of World of Warcraft. Um, easy to take so much of this game for granted now. Or to think of it as passive prime, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, really, uh, Really a, a landmark achievement um, at the time that it was uh, was out, and for many years after. I don't think it's strictly just uh, something for nostalgia now, though it's certainly playing that role for me. All right, we got one more uh, one more boss to kill, and then uh, we'll call it a day here. I can't do that. Char blast. Yeah. And summon you from the beyond just to sit around and do nothing. I don't have a target. Every time. I touched those eggs, I was spawning new ads to make it more difficult. Okay, well, they didn't boot me anyway. Never boot me. Thank you. That's good to know. If there's a vote to boot me, let me know. So I'll, 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 you know, I'll, I'll 
change the errors of my ways. What is the subscriber base of It's not even tens of millions like it used to be. The Savius is crafty. He hides his true form while gathering power with an illusion. We would do well to learn from him. strike indoors. That's a suspension of this building. Burning Rush. Better to than Soul Fury. Alright. Trespassers will be punished. I will fracture your feeble mind. Uh, maybe I should get in there and actually join, huh? I'm too busy staring at my interface to actually realize that there was a, a battle going. I was completely lost in my own head. I fracture your feeble mind. Uh, my apologies. I promise you. Uh, How difficult is this dungeon considered to be? Or is it considered to be? Indeed. We must, however, stay vigilant. Deep inside the nightmare, Xavius remains unvanquished. The enemy you it's fought to be here. Easy. It's just normal mode. Yeah, because it felt easy. To be honest. Whoops. Wait. Am I. Is he giving me that? 
Am I supposed to be giving you something, Moonslayer? Was I supposed to give you something back? I mean, a lot of those two things will help you improve. Um, yeah, it's uh, very interesting to be back to playing this, and uh, there's so much, uh, so much to learn from the old days. Okay, so I'm gonna. Uh, it's just a minute you can level up that dungeon over and over and then you can still skip it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, because this was, I mean, this was a nice way to do a new dungeon uh, with uh, uh, one person from uh, from the uh, Twitch chat, Mr. Burner Man, uh, but also to be playing it at a, uh, at a relatively easy level with uh, a bunch of people who know what they're doing. Uh, took the pressure off me. That so you have to be any good. But uh, I think that's going to be it, kids, for today's stream. Let's just get us to a safe place. And uh, and I'm going to go about my business. Hey, there's Malfurion. Hail to the night. Do we need to be transported out of here? Do we want to do that yet? Or is there something else we have to do in here? Yeah. Uh, okay. All right, we're going to get out of here. All right, I'm going to get transported out of here. Strength. Transported out of here now. And, uh... Big thanks to uh, Burner Man for uh, joining me and uh, kind of sherping me uh, into this uh, new area. It was super fun to play some more uh, WoW. Holy crap, crazy nostalgia. Uh, crazy nostalgia plus uh, humbleness of, uh, of basically not knowing what I'm doing anymore. Uh, so very cool in general. Uh, that will do it for me for now, for today. Uh, there shall be more soon. Uh, whether or not it is uh, Warcraft, uh, World of Warcraft, or something else, we will see. It'll depend on the mood. Uh, definitely want to play more Overwatch. Definitely want to play more Final Fantasy. Definitely want to play more Dark Souls 3. I need to uh, do some Duelist because I played that yesterday a little bit and I was digging it, so I should probably stream that a little bit. Basically, I don't have time to do anything else but stream. All right, that's it for me. Thank you. Uh... Uh, Burning Man, thank you. Thank you, everybody on stream, uh, as usual, uh, for attending and watching. I uh, hope you have a lovely uh, rest of your Saturday. Uh, more to come. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. That's it. I got nothing left. I'm all out of things to say. Uh, that's the wrong camera. That's the right camera. That's the wrong camera. There's the right camera. Go on, help with the add-ons. Drop me a message. Yeah, Philander, thank you. I may, I may want to do that. Uh, all right. Uh, green out. Um... It's been a blast, as always. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Uh, be good. You know, as good as you can. Try, Just try to be good. If you can't, I get it. We're all human, but try. All right. See you soon. Love you guys. Adios. Au revoir. Au revoir. Shalom. And any other languages I've missed, you know. Same to you, fella. All right. See you next time. Bye.